we want an area where birds and bees can live with us and provide for us. So that's what we're doing. We're bringing birds and bees into our artificially created sanctuary for wild animals. And uh, welcome to our life. If you like and what you see, please subscribe. There's too many black flies, I can't even concentrate. I'm saying words all kinds of wrong. Look at my... There was none here two seconds ago. But anyway, welcome. This is the final take. I am enjoying the spring day and taking advantage of getting these bee boxes assembled and painted. We are awaiting our bees uh, probably in a month's time, so I want to make sure that we have these assembled and we have them situated where we want them. So in preparation for our bees that are going to be arriving in about a month's time, D minus and I are making sure that these hives are going to be well protected from the elements, the sunshine, the wind, the snow. Uh, so it is uh, very highly recommended that these boxes get painted. You want to make sure that the paint is going to be just on the outside of the hives. You don't want to be actually putting any kind of paint chemicals on the inside where the bees are going to be uh, doing their thing. We decided to go with two different colors. Just, uh, I've been told that bees actually can distinguish between colors and so just making sure that when they're coming back to their hives they know which one or which queen that they're, they're wanting to go into. I'm just doing a second coat on the last few pieces. Once that is done, we don't have too much um, more to do for the arrival of our nukes, which will be arriving in a couple of weeks. We do have to cut a hole in the bottom board and install the screens and just make sure that we have secured a location of where we want to place these hives. We have a few ideas, but we haven't uh, finalized that. Hi everyone, so in, on this beautiful day, I am actually on my way to go pick up my bees. I have two nukes waiting for me and we have the hives all set to go. I even have sugar water um, in this Boardman feeder and also inside the hives. So it's just a matter of bringing the nukes home and installing them. So we'll see you in a little while. Hopefully these black flies won't be out here. How'd it go? Good. I mean, there are some people that I had to wait for before. There's some newbies that were asking a lot of questions, and he, he just said he couldn't help himself. He had to a answer them. He's like, usually I say no questions <laughs> on this day, but he said he felt bad. I said, that's all right. I, I actually, it was good for me to hear some of the stuff you were talking about again. Um. So the reason why I'm cutting this burlap is that I'm going to use it in the bee smoker um, to smoke the bees, to relax them and calm them, so. Getting geared up. All right, we are not going to space. We are installing some bees today. This tool is a wedge bar. I'm going to be using this to take off this piece of um, wood, which is basically keeping the top open. We're going to bring the nuke box over to the hives themselves and uh, open the box and start transferring the frames that are in here. I believe there's four frames in total and you'll see the assembly of myself putting them into the hive and also putting a empty frame in the middle of the frames that we have right here. Hopefully there is some brood being created. I'm not sure what to expect, it's the first time. I feel like there's a lot of information that I've read, but I think it just has to be experienced. So, here we go. So what is this? This is basically a fondant, so it's extra uh, food for the bees just to make sure that they get established and they're not going to hopefully swarm. Um, we have sugar water also within the frames 
and I also am going to put a Boardman feeder out and then we'll just have to take care of water. All right, so these ladies are the ones that were left over in the box. They were not attached to the frames or they decided to fly off. So I'm just going to put them just to the side to the box, close to the entrance, and hopefully they will go back into the hive with their queen. This is a Boardman feeder. So basically it is a mason jar. There is a lid that is attached to it with very small perforated uh, holes that will allow the liquid to go out. So this just goes on top and it basically has a two little legs that are going to fit onto the entrance and attach itself just through gravity. And yeah, that's it. A little harder. Put your foot on. Together. That's sufficient. So they can't get back up? Yeah, you also don't want them to leave too much space, then they'll start building uh, horizontal combs. Oh, you don't okay. want that? Yeah, all right. <laughs> D-minus and I are having a celebratory beverage. We have installed the two nukes that we is it received. Is installed or like... Yeah. It's, so you install them into their new place or like you set them up in their new home? Do we get installed into homes or... Well, we move them in. Yeah, we, move them in. I like that. Keep on going though. This is, this we is, move them into their you know, high-rise apartment in the sky. <laughs> it is a high-rise. They're moving on up to the top because... The, to a deluxe apartment. All right, nonetheless, G minus are very happy. It was something that I was a little nervous about probably a few months ago, but to tell you the truth, I have read and watched enough videos about it that I felt pretty comfortable, and this suit makes me feel like I'm immortal. Wow, I'm <laughs> immortal, you can't die. Exactly. You're uh, anyway, I, thought, to beef beef stings, I was expecting, anyway. I was expecting when I opened up those boxes, I was expecting uh, an influx of a number of bumps to my face, but I didn't find that at all. A few of them were curious and were on my gloves, but none of them... Um, I had one land on my hand, and other than that, I had none, not one seemed calm. to touch me. Yeah. yeah, it was very calm. I, I was expecting the bees to be like swarmy and all over us. But uh, it was very easy, easy speezy. Hi, little chickadee. So yeah, the bees are installed. <laughs> We've put the bees into their new home, an apartment in the sky, and uh, it's all done. It's one of my favorite parts. Now we just have to reap the benefits of honey. We'll check them in a couple days to make sure they're set up okay. But other than that, uh, we've got bees. Up next, honey and, and need. <laughs> you had a black fly on you. So the bees are tucked in for the night. It is cooling off and I don't see any uh, action going on in the hives. It looked pretty good this evening. I think we did well in regards to oops, uh, installing the nukes and we will just monitor this in the next few days. To the top, to some deluxe bee apartments in the sky. We gotta work it, could grab this beaver in here somehow, but I don't know. <laughs>